So we're talking about this question of charter schools. We've talked about, and I think we've talked about a variety of different topics in this, but you mentioned something I thought was quite interesting that we hadn't uh, touched on was the uh, issue of for-profit uh, entities being involved in the charter school movement. Mm -hmm. uh, why, did you, why did you bring that up? Why don't you explain it a little bit, please? Um, I, th I think it's wrong. Um, although I'm for charter schools, uh, having public monies go to uh, companies with bottom lines isn't a good idea. Yeah. Uh, the money is all they care about, not the educating of the students. Uh, how many people would like to make a quick buck and flip you know, a couple million dollars and to heck with the school after five years, let yeah. it go down. But are mm. private entities involved in the school system already? I mean, from books to food yeah. to Wait, uniforms. What do you mean a private entity? Private Who's, entities. There you, are plenty the of school, businesses. The school, the, the school chooses the books that they can have, right? Right. So the, the, the private entities uh, give the money to the schools, but they don't dictate to the schools what that money is going to be appropriated for or how to conduct their business. They're just donating the money. They're writing it off. They're, oh, you know, they're, they're just saying, donating no, I their think money. they're more involved more <laughs> yeah. than that. Yeah. You, th you think? I, yeah, well, there's, Amazon, there's strings a, attached to that. There's, there's strings how, attached how to that you, money. How would you yeah. do that? Because if, there's still a, if, if a charter school is still a public school, it's still subject to the same state rules. I, I'll give you a perfect so example. No, it's yeah. not. Yeah. That's yeah. the they, whole point. No, it's they're not. not. No. no, they're not. No. They have to follow certain rules. Oh, oh no, they get the to state. design their own curriculum. Yeah. And if Gates gives them a foundation to focus on X, that's what they focus well, but on. But they do have bottom line requirements. Right. So they still yeah. have, they have to, to meet, right. they they have to meet they the standards. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. But, but, but a good example is uh, in New York City, because they're going through this, this issue very uh, heavily as well, um, they have uh, a situation in which a private uh, company is paying for school board candidates to run for office. <laughs> Those school board candidates then run for office and they put education contracts back towards the, the company. So, I, you know, I, I too support school choice, but, you know, I got to call a spade a spade. Yeah. And I have a real problem with that as well. Wouldn't it be nice if we could have candidates run for the school board in yeah, Chicago? Yeah, right, yeah, right. Instead well, of them all being appointed. I should, yeah, I, yeah. I, I've always been opposed to that, but now when I see that every single mayor just handpicks his mm -hmm. own little people, I, I'm, I'm not so sure. I'm old enough to remember why Ben Willis had to leave being the head, and it had absolutely nothing to do with the Willis wagons, which I'm old enough to remember. It was because he was giving, he had, was getting 65000 as the head of the school system, and he was taking 65000 from a textbook company mm -hmm. as a quote-unquote consultant. Right. And guess which books were basically the yeah. books coming into the exactly. Chicago public yeah. schools. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's. Does anybody besides me find it odd that we don't ever have any mayors who've gone through the Chicago public schools or their kids go through the mm -hmm. schools? Yeah, I, you know, don't yeah. you? Find I'm a product it of Chicago public schools, me K through 12, yeah. and um, there are good models out there, both public, private, religious, that are really doing a good job. Uh, and then there's also models that are doing a bad job, and we need to take best practices from both public schools, charter schools, and private schools sure. and apply those to our whole system. Yeah, well said. Yeah. You know, um, what's interesting is, you know, the United States started out in the colonial era as being totally private schools. Yeah, right. and, almost, and it was for only the wealthy. And yeah, No, no, have. not necessarily. What you had, especially in Massachusetts, religious was uh -huh. they were very mm -hmm. religiously yeah. based and not necessarily the wealthiest. Mm -hmm. yeah. Up until about 1830, 1840 in Illinois, black children were uh, forbidden to attend the public schools, mm -hmm. which is a fascinating mm -hmm. thing. So you had, yeah. Well, around that time, we had black holes, so many black people were forbidden to be in the state at all. That's exactly, <laughs> that. it yeah. was part yeah. of the black codes. Yeah, but that's why, speaking of the, the, the race issue, that's why it's very interesting to think about much of the movement behind school alternatives is coming from poor African-American inner city uh, Latinos as well, um, folks and who it, are looking you, for the alternatives. The Latinos are the first large, predominantly Catholic mm -hmm. group that did not just head right for the Catholic schools. That's well, don't charter point. schools also mm -hmm. um, uh, hurt uh, integration of schools? And actually, um, the, the racial makeup of a lot of these charter schools are becoming more segregated. You yeah. could make well, uh, you well, could make that argument know. outside it's of the city. They're local. I would make the argument it's in the city though. That, uh, to be fair to charter schools, mm -hmm. it's because they're local. Yeah. You are, especially with children under the age of 13, yeah. 14, mm -hmm. you are really going to want a kid to be within a mile of the school. Right. And yeah, that's and I, all. That's yeah. all there is to it. Mm. And I think mm -hmm. in the cities, I, I wouldn't make that argument because CPS 
is segregated. I mm -hmm. mean, let's just be real. So it's, let's it, not suggest that your, charter schools in the inner city are any more segregated. segregated than the CPS than, is, lo is locally based for the districts. So it's consequently and segregated. It was, to the, and to the extent, mm -hmm. and it's much less than I remember it, it the, you know, Chicago is segregated. A lot of it is also self-segregation. Well, uh, Chicago, the I don't city know about that. No, the city is very segregated, and I would not argue. Uh, in fact, no, no, no. It has because, a segregation no. index yes, of 82. Be it does, and because mostly African-American parents I know want their kids to go to diverse schools. And so mm -hmm. they're, they're trapped in communities in which, because they want the kids to have that experience. The only way that CPS meets federal criteria mm -hmm. on integration is through their magnet schools. Mm -hmm. Their neighborhood yeah. schools are very, very, very segregated, segregated, but they meet the federal requirements mm -hmm. through these mag magnet schools that pull from across the yeah. city. And so I don't, I don't believe that segregation, that segregation, you're right, it is a function of the city we live in, mm -hmm. but I would not suggest that it's self-segregation in any way. Uh, stop and think about that one a moment. Okay. Uh, where do you live? You get the last word, and we got to wrap up, so I think you think. Far do you south live? side. Huh? I won't say it on TV. I don't want them to come to my house so they don't agree with me. <laughs> Far south side. <laughs> Uh, have you ever tried living outside of there and going? I sure out? have. I've lived in New Jersey. I've lived on the north side. I've lived no, in Indiana. No, no, no. Uh, and have you lived on the north side I of sure Chicago? I sure have. Two different places. How come you are back because down on Because it's cheaper. I think. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that goes to say that it's self segregation. I believe that. That's it. it.